الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين ما بعد أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رسول الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا حبيب الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا نبي الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا نور الله ما جاء إسلام بردن and views of Madani channel once again we say marhaba welcome to our silsila the call to righteousness inshallah azawajalla today we are also going to uh, be continuing with this topic of showing of riyakari ostentation many aspects to ostentation inshallah azawajalla today we try to cover up a few more angles inshallah may allah tabarak wa ta'ala give us the tawfiq and to stay away from this this disease of showing off inshallah so the first and foremost let us hear the beneficence of reciting durood salawat upon the beloved rasul alayhi salatu salam pyare aka madina wale mustafa sallallahu ta'ala alayhi salam stated the one who writes durood with my name in a book angels will continue to seek forgiveness for him as long as my name remains in it subhanallah azza wa jalla sallu ala alhabib sallallahu ta'ala ala muhammad salatan wa salam alayka يا سيدي يا رسول الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا حبيب الله. My dear members and viewers of my channel, in the last episode, we discussed about this epidemic, this disease, this sickness of showing off. Unfortunately, many of us fall into this trap of showing off, especially when it comes to doing the worship of Allah tabarak wa ta'ala, doing the different forms of ibadah, whether it is salah, whether it is sunnah, whether it is zakat or hajj or fasting, we seem to be caught into this sickness of sin. My dear Islam brothers and viewers of Madhani channel, inshallah tabarak wa ta'ala, today we are going to try to get some cure from the booklet of Amin al-Sunnat called to righteousness. Inshallah we are going to try to get some cure for this sickness, this disease. Ostentation, Riyakari, showing off. My dear Islam brothers and viewers of Madhani channel, Alhamdulillah Azza wa Jalla, our Shaykh Tariqat, Amir Ali Sunnat, Hazrat Allama Mawlana Muhammad Ilyas Qadri Razvi, Ziyai Damad Barakatuma Aliya, has given us in his booklet, Call to Righteousness, 10 cures for the sickness. The sickness of Riyakari, of showing off. So inshallah we are going to try to cover up these 10 points inshallah tabarak ta'ala. Number one he says, get help from Allah tabarak ta'ala by making dua. And subhanallah wa jalla, dua is the weapon of the believer. So inshallah tabarak ta'ala we try to follow that point. Number one is to get help from Allah wa jalla, by making dua. Number two, never get heedless of the harms of showing off. Number three, eradicate the causes of showing off. Remove the causes of showing off. Number four, create sincerity in your deeds, in your amal. And number five, protect your intentions. Protect your niyat. Number six, avoid shaitani deception whilst performing your worship. Number seven, Perform deeds in the same manner whether you are alone or whether you are people. Perform deeds in the same manner whether you are alone or whether you are people. And number eight, hide your good deeds. Number nine, keep the company of the pious people. And number ten, get into a routine of reciting wazaif. Get into the routine of reciting wazaif. Inshallah, so now let's take a look at some detail by Shaykh Tariqat Amil Sunnat about these cures. Get help from Allah Tabarak Ta'ala by making dua. Dua is the weapon of a believer. Aqaf sallallahu ta'ala stated that dua is a weapon of a Muslim. Subhanallah wa jalla. Making dua in the court of Allah Ta'ala using this weapon against shaitan. How? Shaykh Tariqat Amir Sunnah gives us a very beautiful way. These numbers and views of Madhani channel, this sickness which we cannot see with the naked eye, it's within ourselves. It's 
it's built up into our system, into our bloodstream. Let us hear what Shaykh Tariqat Amin says, how he says, Ya Rabbi Mustafa, Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wasallam, cure me from the disease of showing off. Fill my empty begging bowl with the immortal wealth of sincerity. Ya Allah, I have to face the enemy who sees me. I cannot see him, but O Allah, you are seeing him. O Allah, protect me from the deception of the enemy. O Allah, I seek your refuge from being considered pious by the people, whereas I'm actually deserving the adab in your court. Allah Akbar. Ya Allah, bless me with the sincerity that I perform each deed for your pleasure. Number two, never get heedless of the harms of showing off. But dear Islamists, one should never get heedless on the harms of showing off. Obviously, we would like something for as long as it is beneficial to us. But once we become aware of its harms, we avoid it. For example, if some Islamic brother likes honey, because of its sweet taste and is informed that the honey is going, that is going to drink has poison mixed in it, he will never drink it, fearing its poison. Not even thinking of enjoying its sweet taste. Similarly, when a person informing people about his good deeds is praised, his nafs certainly gets immense pleasure. Even making him bear the hardships of worship easily. But if he is aware and alert of the harms of showing off that are certainly deadlier than even poison, he will find no interest in this pleasure, but rather will find it easy to avoid showing off. My dear Islamic views of Madani Channel, poison. When we, when we hear the word poison, we, we build up immediately a fear because we know poison means damage, poison means death, poison means destruction, poison causes harms to one's worldly life only. If you take poison, poison is given to a human body, maybe you die, maybe you get disabled, maybe you become blind, maybe you build up some disease, but poison only destroys the worldly body only, only the worldly life. But astaghfirullah na'udhu billah, showing of that poison, that internal poison, showing off can endanger one's afterlife, year after. Kabr and year after will be destroyed with that poison. It's a big loss. And all our good deeds are destroyed. What what difficulty will be through my dear Islam and views of Madani Channel if a person is involved with this sickness, with this epidemic, this disease of showing off, riyakari, ostentation. So remember that it is, it is a poison, but that po poison which destroys your afterlife. So my dear Islam and views of Madani Channel, Alhamdulillah, Shaykh Tariqat Amin says, never get heedless of the harms of showing off. And number three, he says, Eradicate the causes of showing off. Remove the root. Take out the causes. Dear Islam, brethren, there is some cause for every disease. And Shaykh Tariqat Amil gives us some solution. He says, in the same way, there are basically three causes of showing off. Dear Islam, brethren, views of Manin Channel, try to pay careful attention. In this book of Call to Righteousness, he mentions three causes of showing off. And if these three causes are removed, inshallah, it will be very easy to avoid this disease, this internal disease, this disease of showing off riyakari, inshallah, these three, follow, these three causes are as follows. Number one, desire for fame. Number two, fear of blame. And number three, greed for wealth. Condemning it, Hujjatul Islam, Imam Muhammad Ghazali, Rahmatullah, they stated, fame is aimed at impressing people. When a person gets fame, 
It's aimed at impressing people and the desire for it is the root of all evils. Allah Akbar. In order to suppress the this desire, we should ponder over the harms of showing off. Stated in the blessed hadith of the beloved Rasul alayhi there are four things. Number one, avoid mingling obedience to Allah Azzawajal with love for being praised by his, by his banda, by his servants, lest your deeds be ruined. And number two, love for wealth and status increases hypocrisy in the heart of a Muslim as water grows grass. Number three, two hungry wolves do not cause as much destruct destruction to the herd of goats as much destructiveness is caused by the love of wealth and fame to, a relig to the religion of a Muslim. And number four, to like being praised makes man blind and deaf. Tubu ila Allah, astaghfirullah. So desire for fame, destruction. How much fame people are looking for today, my dear Islam brethren? You heard about that famous Nath Khan? Did we hear about the famous Muballik? Did we hear about the famous Ali Madin? Did we hear about the famous Qari? If that person who is receiving the title of fame and he loves this thing, he wants to be famous, he wants to be heard as famous, he wants to be known as famous, he wants to be known as the, as the famous reciter. World renowned Muballik al Islami. World renowned Nath Khan. And if, we, if we're feeling happy, Happiness about this Mahdi Islam and the views of Mahdi Channel, we're in difficulty. Because with this fame, we can be in danger. All depends on the intention. If you if your nafs is desiring, desiring that I must get fame, wherever I go, people must give me fame, people must stand up to my respect, people must call out naras, then we are in difficulty, we are in trouble. Tubu ila Allah. Astaghfirullah. Sallu ala al-Habib, sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad. And number four, Shaykh Tariqat Amir al-Sunnah says, create sincerity in your deeds. Create sincerity in your deeds. He says that, Pyari Aka, Madine Wali Mustafa sallallahu ta'ala ala has stated, O oh people, perform deeds with sincerity, with ikhlas, for Allah tabarak ta'ala, as Allah azawajal only accept those deeds performed with sincerity for him. I do not say this deed is for Allah and for relationship. This deed should only be and only be for the pleasure of Allah Taala. That's why Shaykh Tariqat Amir al always tells us you make good intentions. Always you check your intention. Like, like now views of Madhani Channel. I am seated here and I am sitting in front of you. What is my intention? Whether Is there any sincerity in this act of mind? And you are listening at this moment, listening to views of Madhani Channel, you are listening to this bayan, this discourse about call towards righteousness. Are you listening for the pleasure of Allah Tabarak Ta'ala? Have you made good intentions so that you get the reward in your account, in your deeds book, in your Nama Amal? Shaykh Tariqat Amin Sunnah has mentioned there are four, there are four sayings of pious ancestors, Rahmatullahi Ta'ala Ali, about a sincere person. Four sayings. Number one, Sayyidina Yahya bin Mu'az, Rahmatullahi ta'ala was asked as to who a sincere person is. He, Rahmatullahi replied, when a person is like an infant, like a baby, who neither gets pleased when he's praised, nor annoyed when he's criticized, then the person can be called a sincere person. In other words, he, when he is, when he is indifferent to his praise and criticism, like an infant, then he can be considered as a sincere person. Allah Akbar. When we get criticism, what's our situation? When we get praised, how happy you feel? Oh, <laughs> Jazakallah. Jazakallah, really, no, no, I appreciate. I appreciate your words of honor towards me. I appreciate your praises towards me. I appreciate your good, comforting words towards me. You want these type of praise and you're feeling in your nafs. Jazakallah, Jazakallah. But when a person says, sorry, brother, you are doing this and this wrong. You have done that and that wrong. Your bayan is wrong. 
your nath is wrong, your qiraat is wrong, your neki ki dawat is wrong, your infadi koshish is wrong, your act of ibadat is wrong, this is how it's supposed to be, then what do you do? You want to blast out? No! No, no, what do you mean? I've done it. I know it's right. I'm doing for my, for my Allah, tabarak wa ta'ala. Who are you to tell me? So when you're getting the praise, you're not feeling, you're feeling like an infant or not? Or you're getting happy, happiness with the nafs? You're getting, you're smiling too much? Huh? You, 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 getting joy? Huh? Or, oh, you're just being normal. Person is praising you, you try to avoid. Praising you, you, you try to change the topic. You are very good Mubalik. You are very good Nath Khan. Please tell me, brother, where are you from? Which city you are from? You change the topic. You try to feel normal. And when the person criticizes you, also you try to feel normal. And you try to accept my wrong things. I'm, I'm having difficulty. Okay. Jazakallah for the, for the correction. Inshallah. In future, Inshallah. I'm going to, I'm going to try to correct myself. I'm going to eradicate this, this fault of mine. Inshallah. So, be like an infant. Whether you're being praised or whether you're being shouted at or you're being criticized, baby, don't make any difference. He's happy. He's carrying on. Okay? Inshallah. Number two, Shaykh Tariqat Amin says, Someone asked Hazrat Zunun Musri, Alayhi Rahmatullah al Kawi, how can a person come to know that he's sincere? Viewers of Madani channel, Please listen carefully. This Madani pools are for us. It is a call towards righteousness. We need Neki Kidavat. We, we, we need invitation towards goodness. So, how can a person come to know that he is sincere or not? He replied, despite putting effort into deeds, if he wishes not to be considered an honorable person, then, then he may be called a sincere person. Despite putting efforts into his deeds, he is working hard. He, he did his best. He made sure that everything come out to the best. His namaz was the best. His ibadat is the best. His tilawat is the best. His ruku is the best. His sujood is the best. His dhikr of Allah Taala has done his best. He has put all his efforts into it. And then, if he wishes, wished not to be called an honorable person, then he may be called a sincere person. So this is a big test for us, my dear Islam and views of Madani channel. These four Madani pools, these are, it's, a, it's a very lengthy Madani pool. Shaykh Tariqat Amrishan gives us. MashaAllah, Azzawajalla, our pious ancestors, look at their form of nekiki dawat. Look at their form of invitation towards goodness, their, towards righteousness. And number three says, an imam was once asked, Shaykh Tariqat Amrishan is telling us, an imam was once asked, who is a sincere person? He replied, a sincere person hides his good deeds just as he hides his evil deeds. Allahu Akbar. Hides his good deeds just as he hides his guna, his sin. The Islam and views of Madhya Chal, when we want to commit guna, eh? we make sure. <laughs> we make sure nobody is watching us. Allah Tabarak Wa is all seeing, no doubt. But because of our weakness of Iman, we make sure nobody is watching us, nobody is seeing us, nobody is hearing us, and we commit the guna, we commit the sin. Hmm? So that nobody can tell us that you have committed so much, so and so guna. We try to hide. We want to do gambling, we try to do it such a way that nobody will ever know that we went to that place of gamble. If we, if we do alcohol, we make sure that we go to such a place where nobody notices us. If we want to take drugs, we want to go to that place where nobody notices us. If we want to commit any guna, any sin, we try to be away from those people who would notice us and who would be able to inform others. But when we do the worship of Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala, it's about nafs, it's about your intention. When we do the worship of Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala, we want people to know. He's a person who's, who is getting up for tahajjud every day. He's a person who, who wakes up for tahajjud. He performs isharaq, chast, awabin, tahiyatul wudu, tahiyatul masjid. People must come to know that he is namazi. Huh? He is all the time in the worship of Allah Tabarak Ta'ala. This is a trick of shaitan where you feel happiness in this. Another pious person asked, what is the limit to sincerity? He replied, its limit is that you have no desire to be praised by people. 
Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. My dear Stamper, the views of Bali Channel, what is the limit of sincerity? Ikhlas. What is, the, what is the limit of sincerity? Allahu Akbar. You have no desire for people to praise you. That is the limit. Allahu Akbar, my dear Stamper. You, you, ever, you ever thought about this point? What a beautiful motherly pool by Shaykh Tariqat Amin al You don't want anybody to, to praise you. You, you stop. You, you, you don't feel happiness when somebody praises you. You don't feel, the nafs does not feel enjoyment when somebody praises you. That is the limit of sincerity. My dear Islam, your views of Malik Channel, how far we are away from ikhlas sincerity. May Allah Tabarak Ta'ala grant us sincerity. <laughs> so my dear Islam and views of Madani Channel, Alhamdulillah Azawajal, these four beautiful Madani pools, Shaykh Tariqat, Amir al Sunnat, Hazrat Alama, Mawlan Muhammad, Ilyas, Attar, Qadri, Razvi, Zi'ai, Allah grant him a long life and good health. MashaAllah, so what a beautiful four Madani pools that he has given us and gives us a wake-up call. Yes, he gives us a wake-up call. That we have to understand where our, where our amal, where our deeds is heading us. Show off, riyakari. It's a destruction, disease, which needs to be er eradicated by Islam views upon the channel. Tubo ila Allah. Astaghfirullah. Sallu ala al-habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad. Salatun wa salamun alayka ya Sayyidi ya Rasulullah. And further, Shaykh Tariqat Amil al gives us in this book, of call to righteousness, he says, protect your intentions, protect it, look after it, hold tight onto it, check it out, make sure there's no imbalance, protect our intentions, Allah for to avoid riyakari, huh? showing off. It is essential to protect your your near your intentions. Every time you perform an action, you ponder, you think. You use this aqal Allah Taala gave us. You think for a moment what you intend to gain from performing this action. If you notice a, a slight smell of this disease, a slight smell of this disease of riyakari, rectify your intention immediately, believing that the only that only the deed performed for the pleasure of Allah Taala will be accepted. Inshallah. Remember, if someone performs a righteous action to impress people, he will be get deserving the punishment, the adab of Allah Taala in Jahannam. Let alone his action being accepted. Though shaitan will use every trick in the trade, every trick in the trade. It is highly essential for you to avoid this showing of intention, riyakari, and make a good intention, inshallah, make a good one. Removing all shaitani obstacles from the way. Sayyidina, Naeem bin Hamad, Rahmatullah has stated, for us to be whipped on our back is far easy compared to making good intentions. Tubu ila Allah, astaghfirullah, sallu ala al-habib, sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad. Madi Islam by the views of Madani Channel. Amin al is giving us some very beautiful Madani pools, especially he says the literal meaning of intention. The literal meaning of intention is a firm intention of the heart. By Sharia, the intention of worship is called niyyah, niyyat, intention. Here are some hadith mubarakah on the significance of intention. Number one, intention, deeds depend on upon intention for every person. Number two, the intention of a Muslim is better than his action. Number three, a truthful intention is most preferable deed. Number four, a good intention will make a bandha of Allah, a servant of 
Allah tabarak wa ta'ala to enter into Jannah inshallah. Allah tabarak wa ta'ala bestows the world for the intention of the year after, but refuses to bestow the year after for the intention of the world. Allah. And number six, a truthful intention hangs from the arsh of Allah tabarak wa ta'ala. Hence, when a person makes a truthful intention, the arsh of Allah tabarak wa ta'ala shakes and the person is forgiven. Subhanallah. And number seven, a virtue will be recorded for the one intending a good deed but could not do that good deed. Inshallah tabarak wa ta'ala. May Allah tabarak wa ta'ala grant us all the tawfiq hidayah to build up good intentions. Inshallah tabarakallah, especially riyakari, Allah tabarak wa ta'ala save us from this sickness, from this disease, eh? this epidemic, riyakari, showing of ostentation. It's a disease which most of us are facing at this moment. My dear Islam, my beautiful mother, alhamdulillah, if you get this booklet, the call to righteousness, invitation towards goodness from the uh, our Maktabatul Madina, available throughout the world. Otherwise, if you go to the website www dot dawat islami dot net which is on our screen at the moment inshallah tabarak wa you will be e easily able able to download this book uh, call to righteousness free of charge and inshallah there's a look at all the sicknesses of this of this evils showing off and inshallah tabarak look at all the cure shaykh tariqat amil sunnah we're just covering some points but alhamdulillah in the booklet amil sunnah it is covered in full inshallah inshallah until the next series of this call to righteousness inshallah we try to cover a few more points inshallah azza wa jalla allah karam aisa kare tujh pe jahan mein ae daawat islam teri dhoom machi ho ameen bijah nabi alameen sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wasallam sallu ala al habib sallallahu ta'ala ala muhammad